Hello and welcome. My name is Fred and I just wanted to do a quick video because I get asked the same questions um, on a very regular basis. So I hoped by making this, this part of the page and a quick video that I could help people before they even apply for the NOE. Firstly, do you need to complete all the modules before you can apply? No. So let's have a look. You're on my website. You're at course OW3000. And if you scroll down, you should see first thing to do is apply for your NOE. So you go to the MCA website. You then scroll down and you will come to application forms. We're not Merchant Navy. We are commercial and private yachts. You download MSF 4343. Application for an oral examination. Now I have to say the MCA changed their revisions on a very, very regular basis. You must make sure that you have the appropriate revision. As you can see here, the current edition is 1015. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you're applying for the right ticket. Yeah, that's always helpful, isn't it? So we are applying for Officer of the Watch, a less than 3,000 gross tons. If you want your Master 200, you actually need to do an extra exam, a completely separate NOE application and a separate um, oral exam. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm just doing Officer of the Watch, less than 3,000 gross tons for this video. You require for an Officer of the Watch, a minimum of 36 months on board yacht service. This must include at least 365 days of service on vessels of 15 meters or over in load line length, made up of a minimum of 250 actual seagoing days, and then 115 days of either actual sea service, standby service, or yard service. You can all read as well as I can. Yeah, you must have the appropriate sea service. So you fill all of the vessel names, everything else. You'll see there's a template just below on this website that will help you, ha you know, fill out the application form. What do you need though to be able to apply for it? Well, you require everything in 4A here. You need an attested copy of passport and visa. Now attested means it's been stamped and verified it's been a true likeness. A discharge book or certificates of discharge that match your discharge um, or your, your sea service testimonials. Your sea time is required to be documented in two forms. A sea service testimonial, which I would suggest you use from the most recent MSN, so in our case 1858. And you need a discharge book or certificates of discharge and sea service testimonials. Two countersigned passport photos, one of which must be with, um, I certify this as a true likeness. We'll come on to that. Your MCA approved Yachtmaster Offshore COC, your shore base certificate, your ocean, if you're going straight for your chief mate, GMDSS, GOC, um, you send it in, they'll actually send it back to you because they want to make your um, COC tally or match your revalidation. So it will, it will come back to you and they'll ask for it back again. Then the four STCW and a valid ENG one and your training record book. That is what you must include, yeah? These documents listed in 4B to 4E are not required for the issue of the NOE. So the things there in 4A must be done, completed, and sent. So you must have the sea service, sea time, proof of it. Your TRB, if you haven't got the, uh, the 36 months of actual sea service, and they must be sent in to have the NOE issued. What do you need then for the actual issue of the COC? We need advanced sea survival for yachtsmen, 
or CVSC. The Navin Radar, Approved Ectus, GSK, EDH and Helm Operational. Yeah, so those courses must be done prior to the issue of your COC. Personally, I would suggest that you've done Nav and Radar and GSK. They, you know, they're important for your understanding to be able to pass this exam. EGDIS would be beneficial as well. EDH, benef actually they're all beneficial, aren't they? Um, you, you need to do them at some point. You might as well do them earlier rather than later. So what do you do with this information? Well, you send everything into the MCA and they will take around four weeks, 28 days processing times or 28 working days processing time and they will then issue you an NOE. The training record book. You need to have filled out the TRB completely. Yeah, and I mean completely. You want it signed everywhere that has a gap, you sign it. The things that people miss out is, let's have a look. Yeah, make sure you've looked at my template that's online. I want your personal details. I want everything filled out as it should be. Everything has to have a signature. Persons authorized to make entries in this training record book. You should have the vessel name, the name of the master or authorized officer. So the guy who's allowed to sign in it. His position on board, details of his COC and the signature of the master and the authorizing officer. That seems to be missed out quite often. People seem to sort of just have the signature of the person who's allowed. It does say the master and authorizing officer. You should then have a service record, the name of the yacht, um, dates and places, yacht details. Now this is only for boats that, since you opened the TRB. It is completely separate. You have your sea service testimonials and your discharge book that prove your sea time. This proves your training. Yeah, this is a record of training. It's nothing to do with your time at sea. Here, personally, I have always made an Excel sheet that I've kept up to date. I would include that or um, however you've been keeping your days at sea should be here. Master of Inspection of this training record book. And he should be signing this at regular intervals upon joining the ship, discharge from the ship, middle of your time on the ship. The, the more signatures you can have in here for each vessel that you've been on since opening the TRV. Now, this seems to cause problems. You must have a familiarization sheet and a yacht particulars and location of muster stations for every boat that you have worked on since you opened the TRB. So if you opened it on the, the 1st of January 2010 and you've been on three boats since then, yeah, I would expect to see three familiarization training sheets, three sets of yacht particulars and three muster stations and assigned emergency duties. So you have to photocopy those pages and insert them into your TRB. And that is important. Yeah, so this page here, I would expect to see one for boat one, boat two, and then if you had a third boat, I would expect to see a photocopy of that page 19. Yacht particulars for every boat that you've been on since opening the TRB. And then this bit here, familiarization training, muster stations and duties for everything since you've been on that boat. Then lots and lots of signatures. Page 78 does not have a name of ship, date or signature. However, there should be a signature and a stamp or a date in there. Examples of a filled out TRB can be found on my website below. Do be careful though that you're copying the correct information and not my wife's sense of humor with Ginger Lane and personal details. Do use it with, um, you know, with a little bit of common sense left. How do you then book the exam? Okay, you post everything to the MCA, assuming they're happy, about a month later, 
they will send you back your NOE, your Notice of Eligibility. Once you have that piece of paper, you would then complete my initial quiz. Then we have a chat on the phone and we organize a prep week based on that. I, I can't or we can't book any exams till you have your NOE. So the first thing to do is really, really, really get hold of that NOE. Yeah, be aware that exam centers are often booked about two to three months in advance. So if you want it for the next season, apply for it early. Yeah. Good luck with TRB. If you have any questions, send me an email, fred at fredsoralprep.com.